We're not the only ones asking whether non-lethal force could have been used in that deadly police shooting of the 15-year-old boy in Haymarket. In fact, that boy's own father, in a letter to the police officer who killed his son, asks that very question. He was just a little skinny little boy with a crowbar, 10 feet away from you. Perfect distance for pepper spray or a taser. Now, to get some perspective on this, we've asked Fairfax County Police Chief Ed Rossler to talk to us. Now, he is not going to speak at all about what happened in Prince William County, but what happened when his officers confronted a dangerous person in Franconia. It was March 2nd, 2016. WUSA 9's Andrea McCarran was on the scene. When police officers responded, we are told the suspect fired shots at the police officers. Even though they were being fired upon, police did not fire back. They took cover. We don't know what the backdrop is, and in this particular case, if we missed, who else is in the house? Are there innocent people? So it was quick decision making, and the situation forced that. So then we continued negotiations w with the man inside the house. It took many hours, but the situation finally resolved peacefully with no one hurt. Taser, taser, taser. What about tasers, which are called electronic control devices? Before police officers can carry them, they must go through training, like these soldiers are. There's probes, and they have to make contact with the person's skin in two different places in order to have the desired effect to bring someone down to the ground. Get down, get down, get down. Deciding to use a taser as opposed to a gun depends on each circumstance. It might not be safe to deploy it. It might not have the desired effect. Every case is different and you cannot generically take one case, lay it on another case. In the Haymarket case, the 15-year-old boy was about 10 feet away from officers, which is about where that tree is, and he was coming at them brandishing a crowbar. He had told police he had a bomb strapped to him. The Commonwealth's attorney said it would have been inappropriate to use a taser in that case, and he said the best decision at the time was to use deadly force. Peggy Fox, WUSA 9.